constructivist learning theory is based upon the learner's understanding of the information received independently of the reality and it modifies with time. Constructive learning theory focuses on an individualized and social format of instruction and it is relevant to the learner's interpretation. Learners are active participants by asking questions, solving problems, and applying what they learn from the instruction received. In North America, vigorously construct meanings are experienced by learners when using different resources, tools, and contexts. Learners' previous knowledge is part of the constructed learning process, which is dynamic and thoughtful. The, knowledge, the learner's knowledge is driven by a path of assimilation and accommodation. This integration and collaboration, but internally controlled by the learner, is received and elaborated with the purpose of to be used to solve new problems. The checklist is a beneficial to instructors when preparing or observing constructivist learning and teaching approaches. The researchers are interested in collaborating constructive learning settings because a method, approach, or defined pedagogy is not recognized. Then the checklist can be helpful when observing and preparing materials in using constructivist learning theory. Hang has a very complex list and we are going to use a list to prepare instructional materials using a different guide. This guide is prepared by Hain and focus on learning as an active process. Learning includes or involves construction of meaning that includes systems of meanings where each additional meaning increases knowledge. Learning is a mental process. Learning includes language. Learning is a so social action. Learning is contextual. Knowledge is a prerequisite for learning. Learning requires time and learning requires motivation. Then, educators seeking to use constructivist learning approaches in instructional sh settings should consider those items. The guides mentioned above are useful tools to prepare and observe instruction research. Instruction. research reveals several approaches to the construct, constructivist learning theory. The most important is that learners construct knowledge by themselves in an individual and internal progression. Additional, learning is constructed by the learner's thoughtful view of their surroundings when they work in teams and groups. Constructivist has its roots on classical thinkers and later on psychology and philosophy approaches. During the 1960s and 70s, instructional theory was robust on research and instructional approaches began developing. In 1990, changes on how to approach learning processes are noticed. The focus on constructivists were more about authentic practice and community participation and less about acquisition of declarative and procedural knowledge. At the beginning of 2000, attention was centered on how practice are related to learners' approaches and experience. During the history of the constructivist epistemology, Knowledge acquisition moved from a static and passive observation to a more adaptive and active learning acquisition. One of the first researchers to use the constructivist approach is Jean Piaget. His work about construction of social learning processes with an active collaboration between teachers and students. 
Piaget elaborates the stages of development on a normal intellectual individual. Those stages are in four phases. The first one is the sensory motor, second the pre-operational stage, the third the operational stage, and the last one the operational stage. All those stages are important for his point of view in child development. Another important figure in the constructivist history is Lev Vyskonsky and his theories about language. In his point of view, language is captured and gradually internalized by the child's social relationship with the environment. Thinking will develop with time. Learners present areas of non-knowledge material and areas where material is to be known. This area is called by Wisconsin's zone of proximal, proximal development. For Jean Dewey, an American philosopher and an educator, knowledge is the interaction between the learners and their experience with the surroundings in a social environment. Previous knowledge is important for learners to obtain new understandings and solve future problems. Jerome Pruner views learner is a discovery in process where learning is achieved, cognitive structures more defined to accomplish such new learning path. Additionally, this process facilitates the inclusion of new knowledge. Constructivist learning approaches are noticed with the use of computers and new available technologies presented in our world today. The new available technology facilitates integrating individuals on centered learning paths. On the other hand, interactive programs are needed to provide realistic activities to learners. The important uh, key persons in the constructive learning theory will be or, uh, John Claude Piaget, and he was born in Switzerland in 1896 and died in 1980. He was a psychologist and elaborated the first age sequence cognitive materials for use with young children. The next one is Lev Semenovic Vyskovsky. He was born in Russia and in Ukraine border in 1896 and died in 1934. He is a developmental psychologist interest in a new way of thinking. He framed a theory of cognitive development that's linked to the children's historical and social aspects, and also in the relationship between the parents and the child. John Dewey was born in 1859 and died in 1952. He was an American philosopher, psychologist, and educator. He influenced the education and social American reform with his progressive approach to learning and teaching. His work is noticed during a period of instructional changes during two world wars. He started new pedagogies approaches focusing on education reforms in the United States. Sharon Sewer Brunner was born in 1915 in New York. He is an American psychologist and educator which works focus on perception, learning memory, and in various cognitive learning areas. All those researches and other more than the ones we mentioned, Wisconsky, Piaget, and Brunner, they have in common the social learning constructivist approach. Wisconsky introduces the social concept of zone of proximal learning. Um, Piaget focuses on the development stages of the learning processes. Learning happens in the determinate phase of the child. It is a constructional and logical structure. His view is that learning starts with childhood and develops until maturity. His theory, Piaget's theory, assumes that development is unidirectional and each normal child will reach the expected development stage at the same time. 
social learning process are active collaborations between the learning and the teacher. Learners' social interaction for Brunner is the incorporation of new ideas to the learning current knowledge. Thus, Brunner points out that Piaget's stage of child development age should not be using schools to select the child's specific cognitive stage of development. Learning should be provided by teachers when there is a presence of cognitive maturity. Brunner also focused on the importance of the language and the symbolic representation of the learner's surrounder as crucial to develop cognitive development. Also, Visconsi talks about the uh, language as the, the important in the communication. Brunner and Visconsi associate the social approach of learning more than Piaget. Also, they emphasize that adults are important on coaching the learners by scaffolding the material to the learner. I hope you enjoy.